Hi, this is Will Ruddick with Grassroots Economics. Um, today we wanted to talk about a game that we've been working on with Extra Ludic um, and quite a few others in terms of how to explain bonding curves in villages and communities out here in Kenya. And this is an example that we've been testing and, and working with here. And basically the idea is that a community comes together and they have um, a reserve in, in with Kenyan shilling value. Um, we're using dye as the ultimate reserve right now. Um, but essentially aid organizations are coming in and helping providing that reserve. The community puts it into a pool. Um, and let's say that each one of these coins represents that reserve here, and this is our pool. Um, so within this pool, let's say each one of these is 100, so we've got about 1,000 Kenyan shillings in this pool. And let's say these beans represent our pool tokens or our community inclusion currency, as we like to call them. And so the community is creating their own token, they're naming it something. And so these, these pool tokens or this community inclusion currency, let's say they represent 4,000. Um, Kenyan shillings are 4,000 tokens, number of tokens, and so our uh, reserve to supply is 25% in this case, which is where we want it to be, so we call this a full reserve. So the community has this reserve now, and they've created these pool tokens. They have distributed these uh, CICs out into the community in various ways based on contributions, based on commitments in terms of haircuts and um, uh, flour and products and services uh, of the community. And, uh, and so if someone is holding some amount of these pool tokens, this kind of game gives you an idea of how much, um, so instead of just buying a haircut with these, can I, can I actually pull out some of this collateral or this reserve here? Um, and so the numbers here give you an idea of how much it costs you at any given moment in these community inclusion currencies or CICs to pull out 100 uh, Kenyan shillings. Right? So if each one of these, let's say, represents 50 Kenyan shillings, right? so this, is, this, is, this together is 100 uh, CICs. So this is 50 CICs, and this is another 50 CICs. So my 100 CICs, two of these, is going to initially pull out 100 uh, of my reserve in, in Kenyan shillings. Okay, and so that was basically a one-to-one -one rate initially, and and so I can use this to go and buy stuff like petrol or things outside the community. Now someone else can come in, or I can come in and say, oh, I also have another two of these. Okay, I'm going to still pull a, pull that out with the same rate. In reality, this is a continuous function, so you wouldn't get exactly the same rate, but this is a good kind of approximation of it. Now that that we've pulled out 200 out of the reserve of a thousand. Right? There's only 800 remaining uh, in our collateral pool, in our reserve. And so now the, the cost to pull out the reserve becomes a little bit higher. So now for three of these beans, three of my CICs, I can, so this would be 150 in, in value in CIC. For 150 of these tokens, I can pull out 100, okay? And someone else can come in and do the same thing. Right, it's still the, the value is still at the same near the same rate and pull that out. Okay. And so we're slowly lowering the amount in our reserve. And so the value of these beans starts to drop. So now for four of these, which would be 200 uh, tokens, 200 of my CICs, I can pull out now 100. And the question is, well, what, what's worth more, right? So if I really need uh, Kenyan shillings, I may need to go buy petrol. I really, really need these right now, so I'm going to do this. But I could have uh, taken these 200 worth of community inclusion currencies and bought, let's say, haircuts and flour and that sort of thing. So this market kind of, um, the, the market and, and stability of the price of these in the community compared to their cash out value determines when it is advantageous to actually pull out the reserve or not, right? So I can keep going here and say, okay, well, I'm going to pull out these. I really need Kenyan shillings, right? We're going to essentially empty the reserve now. So now we're up to the point where we need 250 worth of these uh, CICs to pull out 100 shillings, right? We're still there on this side as well. Um, and then finally we're here at six. So now it takes six of these tokens uh, to pull out 100. Right, and I finally am going to pull out basically all that's in the reserve, 
in reality there would always be some sort of very small fractional amount in here but for all intents and purposes we say okay the reserve is now empty okay we've we've taken out all the money from the reserve there's still all of these tokens these could be circulating in the community but they basically have no exchange value right now okay someone could then or a red cross or an aid organization could come in and say or the the local government or, or even an individual and say hey i've got a hundred uh Kenyan shillings, I want to add these back to the pool, right? So let's say they add them back to the pool. So they start back over over here and we say, okay, you you would pull out 600 of these. You would actually create them on the bonding curve. You create 600 of these pool tokens. So all these ones in here actually kind of been destroyed. So you would create these and that's worth 300. That's 300 of these, to these, these pool tokens that are actually have been created. So each one of these wor is worth 50 here. Right. And so I can go potentially go buy, uh, you know, um, a meal for my family or I can get uh, help on my farm with these. Right. And so as long as there are goods and services being offered locally on these, there, there's an advantage now for someone to add liquidity back into the pool. Right. And so these are now in circulation again. Right. I can keep doing that. I, you know, someone might keep adding money in here. Right. To, to, to get these pool tokens and a donor could come in and say, look, I want to donate into this community. I want to support them. I'm going to put some money into the communal reserve. Right. I have these tokens. I could also donate them out. I could give them to people in the community. Right. And by doing so, I mean, I, I've made it such that anyone holding these tokens actually now has the ability to cash out and I've donated some of these tokens out into the community. And so this is kind of how we're looking at, you know, sort of a new form of cash transfer to be able to give communities both uh, a liquidity pool, right, and be able to surgically donate uh, these tokens into the community based on needs in that community. And, you know, ultimately, let's say, you know, this, this keeps filling up. There's a point at which people might say, well, um, you know, so I've, I've, I've got these, these tokens now, I'm adding this in here. What is the, the, the return on this kind of investment, right? So we're adding these pool tokens here. At some point, people would say, okay, you know, the actual local value of these, they would say, we do like to use them. We use them at basically one-to-one -one with the Kenyan shilling, but um, around this level, uh, they start to be disadvantageous. And so someone might put this this in and then immediately someone else might come and say, oh, let me take those back out again. Let me take that, that 100 shillings back out and put those tokens in here. And so this is the idea of, of finding price stability um, among your, along your bonding curve. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense and uh, look forward to next time.